Hi, good morning. What time is it? <laughs> it's about 4.59 in the morning. And where are we going again? To the airport to go to Philadelphia. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, we don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey y'all, so me and Emma decided super last minute that we were gonna spend 48 hours exploring two different cities, and now I'm gonna try to recap it in less than four minutes. So let's give it a shot. If you wanna see how exhausted we were at the end of it, wait till the end of this video. <laughs> I'm stressed, like I'm stressed. <laughs> So basically we started off at the Philly airport, took a train into Center City, and then just kind of went from there. We got lost right off the bat, and it ended up taking us to this really cool diner that we ate breakfast at. And then from there we just walked around, saw cool buildings, took lots of pictures, and just enjoyed ourselves. We made a pit stop at La Colombe and got some amazing draft lattes. Highly recommend. Um, and then after that we went to Independence Hall to kind of get a little bit of a history lesson and just enjoy learning more about America. Um, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would as someone who usually doesn't like history, but yeah, it was fun and a cool way to explore more of the city. Then we again just kept walking around, we made our way to Reading Terminal Market and kind of explored the different shops and restaurants in there. It was really cool. We grabbed a bite to eat and got a not so great cup of coffee, but it's fine because we hit up Starbucks right after, and so it made everything okay. We literally had way too much caffeine on this trip, but if you know us, you're not surprised. We took some more cool pictures and just got to enjoy exploring the city. After that, we walked to the Delaware River and got to see that, and then walked across most of the Ben Franklin Bridge. And honestly, that was a lot of fun. It was really pretty, and it felt great outside, so it was a really good day. We got our steps in walking across the city to Gino's Steaks, but honestly it was so worth it. It was the amazing classic Philly cheese steaks that we were told we had to get while we were there. And on our long walk we got to see some really cool parts of the city that we wouldn't have gotten to see otherwise, so I'm glad we did it. After that we walked to the bus stop that took us to stay with the family friends that were so sweet to let us stay with them on this trip. And we spent the night there, woke up the next morning, and got ready to go to New York City, my favorite place in the world. Hello, my name is Walter Lewis. Oh, Margaret Lawson. We are in New York City. Again, we didn't really have a set plan of what we were doing in New York, um, but Walter and Margaret, which are some of our alter egos we made up a long time ago, um, definitely had to make their first stop in the Starbucks sure. roastery. <laughs> And we had some amazing talk coffee and talked to a really cool guy that worked there that explained more of how all of that works in there. And then headed over to Chelsea Market right next door and got some really good tacos. Then we just kind of explored the city again and looked at cool buildings, took cool pictures, saw some cool thrift shops. Then we got to spend some time with my friend Hannah who has been doing her semester and an internship in New York. And she showed us kind of around her area where she lives, she showed us her favorite a coffee shop and then we just yeah we just explored and walked around we saw um, the Brooklyn Bridge and then got some really good New York pizza may have dropped it on the ground it's fine it's all fine then we took a train up to the top of Central Park that was one thing I knew I wanted to do since I hadn't done that before so we walked through Central Park took some cool pictures and then made it back to our bus stop it was honestly an amazing trip even though we walked way too much and we're so exhausted it was so worth it, for sure. Um, one of the most the fun things about it is that we didn't have a super set plan, and we just got to kind of enjoy it um, and go about our day and just figure it out as we went. Um, and because we got to stay with some sweet family friends, um, it was a super cheap trip that we got to take last minute, so it made it a really fun spring break. If you guys have any recommendations of other cool cities that we could visit after all this crazy corona stuff is finally over, um, let us know in the comments or send us a message and tell us some of your favorite places in a cool city that we could visit in maybe just 24 hours or maybe a couple days. And maybe we'll do it and do a fun little video like this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick little recap. For now, that's all I got, so I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.